six. All right, so I just got the tires off this truck that he was at the dealership for an oil change, and they that's said not, that's not like five or six. That's not like five or six. Yeah, they told him three millimeters. So, op so open these brake pads up. Here's the new brake pads. There's the backing plate. All right, and that's the friction material distance between the rotor. I'm not gonna open them. So I would say these are barely worn. You don't have to even open them. Up. Yeah. Here's a new set of brake pads. And this guy absolutely does not need front or rear brakes. So he actually called on the phone and said, "Hey, you know, the dealer said I need rear brake pads and rotors. It's a thousand bucks. I want to come to you. They're three millimeters." There ain't three millimeters. The reason why they gave him that big of a price was because of that sensor. That sensor is expensive. Well, I understand, but they told him it's three millimeters. Yeah, the brake pads are like a half inch thick. And the fronts are about, I don't know. So I would say these are 70%, 80%, and the fronts are maybe 60. So there's no reason for them to recommend any brakes. I mean, as bad as, as bad as it gets sometimes in the shops, there's no reason to rip anyone off. Now, if he had a concern for noise or a pulsation or something like that, then you're addressing the customer concern. But to tell this man that he actually needed brake work is absolutely not true. So what he did ask us to do is see if we can correct the gap in his rear bumper from somebody hitting it. So I'm going to take a look at that now. So customer did not need any brake work. Zero. I'll show you again right here. So here is the metal backing of the brake pad where the sensor would go and then in here is the distance of friction material left that is not three millimeters not on any wheel thanks for watching